Hello friends, myself Dipesh Chauhan and I am making this video of my project on FM radio receiver. So the first part of this project is to explain the basic component using block diagram and to show the, pros the flow of information. So the FM radio receiver basically uh, has an RF amplifier, a mixer, an IF amplifier, a demodulator, a voltage and a power amplifier which is connected to the loudspeaker. And the feedback from an FM demodulator is given to the local oscillator so as to give two inputs to the mixture so that we can select a particular frequency and filter out the rest. So let me brief you about the different parts of an FM receiver. So the first is the FM uh, radio antenna which receives the input uh, signal. The next is the RF tuner. It is the sub subsystem for receiving radio frequency transmission and to select the FM spectrum signal which is suitable for further processing as, as low frequency is used on the output. The next is RF to IF converter. The two input signal are mixed in order to convert signal into an intermediate frequency. The intermediate frequency is created by using a local oscillator and mixing the carrier signal through the heterodyning process. The main reason for converting the RF to IF is due to poor performance of signal processing circuitry and failure of active devices such as transistor to deliver, deliver much amplification. The next is the IF filter. The main function of this is to eliminate the frequency other than intermediate frequency by filtering. Then the FM demodulator. The encoded received signal is converted to audio signal using a demodulator. The demodulator consists of a staircase marker and the delay unit for creating an analog signal called as demodulation process. The next is the audio amplifier. The output power of FM transmitter is much smaller than that of the AM transmitter. So an audio amplifier is used for amplifying the output to generate a clear, loud, audible output. The next part of my project is to draw the circuit diagram and explain its working. This is the circuit diagram of an FM radio receiver which consists of uh, number of uh, capacitors, resistors, inductors and a voltage source, the transistors etc. So the working of the FM receiver basically works on two principles. The first one is the frequency spectrum sharing and the second is the demodulating desired signal and rejecting other signal transmitted at the same time. The circuit is made up of an oscillator which are T1, T2 and T3 that is synchronized with the received frequency of T1 which works as a broadband preamplifier in the VHF range. The oscillator is adjusted between 87 to 108 MHz with C5. Because of this synchronization, the oscillator output will have the same frequency deviation as the received signal from the FM antenna. This deviation are caused by the broadcasted audio information. The frequency modulated signal show up on P5, P1 plus R5. The low pass filter that's R6, uh, R6 with C6 extracts the audio signal and then is, is amplified by T4 and T6 and transmitted at the output through C9 capacitor. The radio receiver is adjusted on different stations with the help of a capacitor C5. T1 potentiometer is adjusted until the best reception is obtained. If we attach an audio amplifier and a speaker, then this frequency P1 potentiometer is adjusted until the best reception is obtained. 
If we attach an audio amplifier and a speaker, then this frequency modulated receiver can be made very compact as a pocket radio. The next part of my project is to select an FM radio channel, uh, for example, 93.5 FM. So in order to tune the FM to a particular channel, that's the particular frequency, the oscillator is tuned, which is an input to the mixer. A mixer takes the sum and the difference of the two input signal. Out of the two in input signal, one comes from the local oscillator and the other from the FM band. We can tune the oscillator to change the output of the mixer so that we can select a different FM station. The output of the mixer with intermediate frequency is down converted spectrum of an FM band. We then filter out the specific frequency that we want by using the IF filter and that is how we choose our channel. Thank you.